Hello Zenbees. Zentangle is a meditative art form that is a relaxing method of creating abstract art using structured patterns. It teaches and focuses on being mindful and present. Zentangle requires no artistic skills. Zendalas are the best of Zentangle and Mandala. Welcome to Zendala Joy. 31 days, 31 Zendalas. Hello, I'm Sandhya Manne. I'm an artist and a certified Zentangle teacher. In this channel, we talk about creating and practicing Zentangle, my own Zentangle inspired artworks and collectibles. Make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel and hit that bell notification so you do not miss out on any videos that I will be posting throughout this month of October. It's day 9 today and I am going to use string number 10 for today's project from the Zendala string PDF. To get your instant free download, do sign up onto my newsletter. The link is in the description. For today's project, I will be working on my white round Zendala tile with my black pen, pencil and stuff. So go grab your supplies and let's get started. So it's day 9 and we are working with string number 10 and I have traced on my string onto my tile. So this is my string template. Uh, it has about 15 strings and we will be using this these strings for uh, the entire month of October. Now if you want to get your template all you have to do is sign up onto the newsletter. The link is in the description. Sign up and you will get a uh, instant quick download of this PDF file. Here we are with our supplies. Um, I'm working on a round tile that has the string traced on and I will be using my 01 micron uh, pencil and stub and maybe a 08 uh, or a PN pen. So we will be working with thicker pen for filling and chaining but uh, here's all we need to get started okay so uh, our first angle is called dragon air it's a beautiful beautiful track uh, tangle so all we do is I'm gonna pick one of this lines right so I'm going to trace that Like this and I'm going to make about uh, three points so one two and three points on that so from here I'm going to pull out a line like this and curl it up so let's do that pull out another line curl it up pull out another line curl it up and this is going to go up here and I'm going to curl it up here okay so I'm going to repeat this on the other side as well um, so notice I'm not going all the way till this end kind of stopping somewhere here like that and this comes in like this okay so now that we have this I'm going to start again from this point um, okay let's do it this way so I'm going to start from here from this point and wrap it around the circle the next one so again I'm going to start from here come out and wrap it around this start from here come out and wrap it around this come here and kind of ending on this like this okay now I'm going to do the same thing here so I start at this bottom go around and wrap it start at this go around and wrap it and we end it like that okay so I'm going to repeat this here alternating so I'm going to skip this line okay the one right next to it and then we're going to do it on this one so again we start off with inking this line first and I'm going to make those four dots four points 
so one two sorry three points three and this would be the fourth point so i have my three points and from here i pull out my line that's curled up right at the top like that okay so let's repeat this on this side again you go up and kind of make a curl there so I start from here and pull out a line so it's almost like alf uh, alphabet S so you start here you go around make a curl and end on this like that Like that okay so again I'm gonna skip this line and repeat drag and air on this line so I'm going to trace this and make my four points so one two three and this is going to be the fourth point and I pull out my line now when I normally make drag and air I really don't make those points um, I just start where I feel like but um, here since we, we want to make it look symmetric uh, I want to make sure that they all kind of look the same although we are not measuring anything so it's still it's still a wild Yes, right. So I'm um, going back and repeating this. Okay, so I'm going to repeat, finish the rest of them. Okay, so here it's all done. Now our next step, uh, I'm going to ink these center lines. So I start off like this, ink it up. And I'm also going to start from this point and kind of go out in aura. Or this. And come here and kind of go over this line go over this line and start ordering back like that so I'm going to repeat this in the other sections as well So we're going to do this all around. So here I have uh, inked all my lines like that and I've made auras. Now here's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to start 
again maybe add dots about three or four depending upon how much space you have and from here i pull out a line that kind of goes like this uh, so right now we are creating this tangle called finery like this okay so i'm going to repeat this again So now that I've made my lines all around, uh, we're going to enhance this and add this element inside finery. So all I have to do is pull out a line like this, make it slightly darker right at the top and then pull it out like that. So we do this in each section. Make it slightly dark at the top. So I'm going to repeat this on this side as well. So just keep adding. Okay, so I'm going to finish the other two as well. And uh, that's how it starts to look. Okay, so I'm also going to go ahead and add slight black right here right at the point so just make it slightly darker to kind of enhance that so I'm going to repeat this and all of my initial lines that we drew so like that so we shall do that on rest of them now our center part is pretty much done this this whole thing um, so now let's get to this section all around so I'm going to start with the inking this, uh, this shape here so now I have this diamondish section so i'm going to start with a circle and uh, i'm really not worried about making it right in the center so i'm in fact looking at making it slightly off center and make it slightly darker and kind of all right and now i'm going to pull out a line so it's kind of wrapped um it comes out of the circle so it wraps around and then comes out like this so notice it's not a straight line like this it's it kind of comes out of the circle so we do this all around So I do this and then I am going to go back and pull out a line like this so I can make this darker. So 
so this is a fragment um, number E25 I'm going to repeat this in the next ones as well. So I'm all done. Just wanted to show you guys once again E5. So we start off at a random spot, make a circle, make an aura, and then pull out lines coming out of the circle like this. So keep rotating your tile as you go. Okay, so I'm going to repeat this again here. I'm going to start my circle somewhere here. Now I like to kind of work in an assembly line kind of a setup where I do one thing in one section and I just kind of repeat that on all the rest of them and then come back at the next element and repeat that again all through. But that's just the way I like to work and if you prefer work finishing this entire section and then moving on to the other section that's totally fine okay so now I go back and add that little weight Okay, so let's read that here.
okay so it's all done so you can leave this as is at this point of time or you can add something interesting on the outer section so i'm going to do b12 uh, sorry b13 these sections here so b13 goes like this we kind of put a center point okay and from this corner you pull out a line and from this corner you pull out a line and you pull out a line to this corner and then you make auras inside like that. so depending upon how much space you have you can add as many as you can in that space So we're going to repeat this all along. So just make a dot, pull out a line from the corners, this, and make your aura in an aura V. So this almost looks like a V. So I'm just making these in our ways so this one is pretty much flat so I guess I should have had my dot a slightly inside so I could get that V shape okay so I'm gonna do that I want to put my dot slightly inside so I get that V shape here repeat this all around so here it is all done we are done with all the pen work now let's get to shading so I'm going to start with the dragon air so I'm going to just go ahead and add my pencil right here right at the V I'm going to do that here as well. Okay, so let's just blend this up. Notice I'm not going all the way up. I'm just trying to blend it right there. So I'm going to repeat that again, just right here, right at the V shapes. So I'm going to repeat this um, on the rest of them. Okay, so now I'm going to add my pencil right on this line. I'm going to actually make it slightly darker right at this end. And blend this out. And pull it like this on both sides. It gives a nice dip. Okay. 
so I'm only adding my pencil completely in this section and uh, just to give that dark effect and then I pull out the pencil just on the line okay so let's go ahead and I'm just modeling this out and kind of pulling it slightly onto both sides of that section So that looks interesting. Now we're going to do this. We add the pencil right here as well. And, um, so I have my pencil here, and then I'm also going to add my pencil right around this second order line. So here's how I'm going to do this. I'm going to first blend this out. And go around. Like that. Like this. So I'm going to finish shading for E25 all around. And so I'm all done shading uh, B25. Now I'm going to add pencil all around that. So I've just done that and I'm adding, I'm blending this out. So go ahead and blend that out. So we are all done with shading but uh, I want to enhance a couple of things here. Um, so I want to go back and kind of make this thing slightly darker. So I'm working with my thicker tip pen and I'm just going to go over this line as well with my thicker tip pen like that So I'm going to repeat that so it gives a nice depth. So let's repeat that. So I'm also uh, I'm done adding the lines, making it slightly darker with my PN pen, and I have uh, also gone ahead and made these circles slightly darker. So I'm just go going over the circle once again, but making sure I have that little teeny tiny white spot left. So that. And I'm going to repeat this in the in a more circle of P25 as well. I'm 
so I'm all done with my pen work now let's get to oh, oh we're done with the shading as well so now let's get to the finishing of the tile so I'm going to put my initials uh, let's see uh, probably in one of this petal here so I'm just going to put my initials like that ink it and own it so now let's uh, journal this so today's date is 9th of October 2020 and this is Sandala Joy D9 string 10 and we worked with we started off with dragon air tangle dragon air and then we went on to add finery and then we worked with b25 fragment b25 and sorry this was e25 e25 and uh, the the other fragment that we used at the outside uh, was b13 so those are our I'm gonna sign it up like that and there you go all done hope you had fun creating this project with me I would love to see your creations so head on to our Facebook group Zenbees where all the after party fun happens share your works there and check out the creations by other Zenbees if you're planning to share your works on social media, do tag me at Sandhya Manya or hashtag Tangle with Sandhya so I get to see your lovely works there. To understand Zentangle method and to get started on your own Zentangle journey, do email me to get information about my group classes or to schedule your own private sessions. Slots for the month of October are now open. A quick note, these projects and these videos are for your own per personal use and no part of these can be used for any kind of commercial purposes. Now it's time to comment so please comment below and let me know how you enjoyed this project because that really helps me plan out my next set of videos. Also it's time to show some love so hit that like button, share the video and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you tomorrow at 7pm India time on my uh, YouTube live. So we will be working uh, with string 7, day 10 string 7. So get your tile ready and let's tangle together tomorrow at 7pm India time. Until then, remember to breathe and smile. See ya. Namaste.